Well, recent tragedies have made this a tough month for local law enforcement. Taylor Castro spoke with the Winnebago County Sheriff about how this data we just spoke about is used. Taylor. Tom, at the county level, the Sheriff's Department uses these monthly reports to recognize trends. Then they use real-time happenings to keep the county safe. We've got a lot of help regionally from different police agencies working together. Crime statistics may not tell the whole story. Okay, this number tells me something, and it does. It tells me there's a trend, but again, I want to make sure that I just don't focus on the numbers. In Winnebago County, this data, along with communication, is important to maintain effective operations. The focus is more on working in the present to keep people safe. I want to make sure that we're looking at real-time information and what's going on on the street. Numbers are great. I can tell you we're up and down and, you know, I, I can look at a number and, you know, okay, it's, it's down here. But how did we look at that? How did we uh, uh, review it? And how is it really affecting the community? What officers see on the street is used to build a strategic plan to target certain crime issues. I have a crime deterrent unit that we go out. We just had a uh, crime deterrence unit detail on Friday where we go out and we look for the warrants. We look for the problem areas, the high crime areas, and then we go in those areas and we deal with it, whether we're, whatever that situation is. With recent events having a large impact on the community, it's crucial to continuously work on public safety and reducing those numbers. We got to just stay focused on the tragedies and make sure that we prevent those tragedies and probably put controls in place. Law enforcement officials we spoke to say while crime stats are helpful, they are just one piece of the puzzle in the effort to keep our community safe. Tom.